Hello dear students, welcome back to your channel Hello Pharmacology. In today's session, let us learn about penicillins. So coming to the specific learning objectives. So you will going to learn about the penicillin mechanism of action, types of penicillins, pharmacokinetics of penicillins, indications of penicillins and adverse effects of penicillins. Moving on to the mechanism of action of penicillins. So penicillins are basically bactericidal in nature where they mainly interferes with the cell wall synthesis in dividing bacteria. So please remember they are bactericidal in nature. Mainly they act by interfering with the cell wall synthesis in dividing bacteria. So penicillins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors. So coming to the mechanism of action. So this penicillin will basically bind to particular enzyme and it will inhibit the activity of the enzyme which is required for cross linking of peptide chains. Please remember penicillin will bind and inhibit the enzyme which is responsible for cross linking of peptide chain of the newly formed building block to the peptidoglycan cell wall backbone. So penicillin by binding to the enzyme. So which is the enzyme which is responsible for cross linking of the peptide chain. So the enzyme name is transpeptidase. Transpeptidase. So basically penicillin will bind and inhibit the transpeptidase activity which is required for cross linking the peptide chain of newly formed building block to the peptidoglycan cell wall backbone. Also you should remember that it will by inhibiting the transpeptidase activity it will going to interfere it will going to interfere with the last step of bacterial cell wall synthesis. So by inhibiting the transpeptidase activity penicillin will going to interfere with the last step of bacterial cell wall synthesis that is the cross linking of adjacent peptidoglycan strand the process is called as transpeptidation transpeptidation so the enzyme involved is the transpeptidase so this kind of beta lactam antibiotics will going to inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme which is required for cross linking which maintains the closed knit structure. So when this transpeptidase enzyme is inhibited, so the cross linking as well as the closed knit in the cell wall will not take place. So thereby it, it makes the cell wall very weak. So all this group of enzymes as well as related proteins are constituted and they are called as penicillin binding proteins which are mainly located in the bacterial cell wall. Coming to the types of penicillins, so we have beta lactamase resistant penicillins. The examples are methicillin, flo, cloxacillin and timocillin. And we have a broad spectrum penicillins, example ampicillin, amoxicillin. So under extended spectrum penicillins, you have piperacillin and ticarcillin, piperacillin and ticarcillin. So coming to the pharmacokinetic property of penicillins, so the absorption, so the absorption through oral route, it varies. So because of the quicker digestion that will be taking place in the gastrointestinal system, the penicillins are not administered orally because of their degradation in the stomach. So it is usually administered through intramuscular route as well as intravenous route. So this penicillins will be passed on to the all the body fluids. It will be going to all parts of the body fluids and you should also remember that it can cross the placental barrier. It can cross the placental barrier 
but remember it will not cross the blood brain barrier but there is one condition where the blood brain barrier can be breached and penicillin will be able to cross the blood brain barrier only whenever there is a meningeal inflammation so whenever the whenever the meninges are inflamed the blood brain barrier becomes weak and penicillins can easily cross the blood brain barrier if the meninges are inflamed so penicillins will get excreted out of the body through urine and if proben acid which is a uricosuric drug which is used in the treatment of gout if it is used in combination with penicillin proben acid will compete for the excretion along with the penicillin and the penicillin excretion will be blocked by the proben acid so thereby it will going to increase the plasma concentration of the penicillins so coming to the clinical uses of penicillins so they are used in the treatment of bacterial meningitis so benzyl penicillins are used in the treatment of bacterial meningitis it can be used in the treatment of skin bone as well as joint infection flocloxacillin is used and coamoxiclave can be used in the treatment of any animal bites it can be used in the treatment of pharyngitis phenoxymethyl penicillin can be used in pharyngitis amoxicillin can be used in otitis media in bronchitis we can use amoxicillin again again in pneumonia you can use amoxicillin so syphilis we can say penicillin is the drug of choice so in syphilis you will be using the procaine or benzathine penicillin so you can use penicillin benzyl penicillin along with aminoglycosides in the treatment of endocarditis so penicillins are also preferred drug in the infections which are associated with pseudomonas aeruginosa so here you will be using the piperacillin and ticarcillin so coming to the adverse effects of penicillins so the main common and most frequently encountered adverse drug reaction with penicillins is hypersensitivity reaction which can be in the form of rashes urticaria angioedema fever as well as arthralgia so the most common side effect of penicillins is hypersensitivity reaction so very very important is in some of the patient so this penicillins will going to cause anaphylactic reaction anaphylactic reaction so which is the drug which is preferred in the treatment of anaphylaxis it is adrenaline it is adrenaline so coming to the summary of penicillins so penicillins basically it inhibits the cell wall synthesis how it will going to inhibit the cell wall synthesis it will inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme which is required for cross linking so by inhibiting the transpeptidase enzyme there won't be any peptide chain cross linking and it can cross the blood brain barrier only if the meninges are inflamed only if the meninges are inflamed so where they are used they are used in the treatment of meningitis endocarditis skin bone joint infection in case of pharyngitis otitis media pneumonia bronchitis syphilis etc the most common adverse effect is hypersensitivity reactions so this is the pharmacology puzzle leak where there is a puzzle and there is a clue for getting the answers so you can go through this puzzle and you can write the answers in the comment bo box so please write down your answers in the comment box thank you if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology thank you